So, hello everybody, this is Sauron. This is going to be a video on preventing the enemy from farming and how to abuse map control into stopping your opponent from farming. So pretty much every hero in Dota wants to farm somewhat. Some more so than others, but pretty much every hero in Dota will be farming at least some point in the game. Even the most five roll of supports will at some point in the game be hitting some creeps. And obviously, the way you win Dota is by outleveling and outfarming your opponents and gaining an advantage through gold. And the ways you will go about this are usually either just flat out farming them because your heroes have more farming mechanisms than your opponents, in which case they will be preventing you from farming or attempting to, or just preventing the opponent from farming through map control gains. Now, like I said, the primary way of preventing your opponent from farming is through map control. Map control is kind of a abstract idea in Dota in that it's not a visible resource that is tangible, but it, it exists nonetheless, and it is a resource that can be gained and lost. Some heroes are very good at holding map control, some heroes are not so great, but every hero in Dota will want map control at some point. Map control is what gives you the ability to farm more than your opponents, because if you control a larger percent of the map than your opponents, then you have potentially more creeps to hit, and if you have more creeps to hit, then you will, over the course of 20 minutes, have gained more gold than they will. Good heroes gaining map control are stuff like Night Stalker, Beastmaster, Vision heroes, Templar Assassin with her Sonic Traps. The primary way like of gaining map control is through Vision, and the ability to kill your opponents. So, like I said, heroes who gain Vision, Beastmaster, Night Stalker, Templar Assassin, Obs Wards, these are very key points to gaining map control because if you see where your opponents are, then you know exactly what you can do because if you could see all five of your opponents throughout the entire Dota game, you would literally never die because you would just run away from them. So map control and having wards in areas that you need to control are very important because this tells you, you know, where your opponents are going to be and how to kill them because map control doesn't really mean that much if you can't kill them so being able to punish them for leaving the area of the map that they control and coming into yours is a very key point to preventing them from farming because i mean you can have the potential to hit as many creeps as you want you know you can run around one shotting every single creep wave but if you can never actually get to the creeps without dying then it doesn't really mean that much so this is why the primary way of like I said, preventing people from farming, especially carries in the mid to late game, is just by trapping them in their base until you gain a large enough advantage or a pickoff to push high ground. Heroes like Beastmaster, Batrider, these heroes excel at this because like, if the enemy ever leaves their base, you can either just roar them and kill them or lasso them and kill them. Again, vision plays a very important part of map control in Dota, so holding it is very important. The reason people use Sentry wards in the early game to prevent farming the jungle, for example, heroes like Enigma, Chen, Enchantress, people usually block their camps in the early game, and this usually doesn't happen later on in the game for a few reasons. In the early game, you don't really want to be leaving, and if you are going over to, you know, mess with said hero in the jungle, it takes time out of your lane, unless you're a hero like, let's say, a bounty hunter or something, in which case, that's your job anyway, and you don't really want to be in lane, but if you're a hero who is laning, and the enemy team has an enigma that's farming in the jungle and you want to stop them, you would have to go all the way out of your way to the enemy jungle. And even then, you'd have to find the guy and then you'd have to mess with him to stop him from jungling. This takes so much time out of your day that it's not even worth it. And the reason people use OBS wards or sentries in the early game to just block the jungle camps is it requires zero commitment of time because you can put it down before the game starts and it like you don't even have to do it like what are you going to be doing before the game starts like you can like scout look where the enemy is but beyond that most games most don't really have that many fights pre runes like before the game starts and most of these fights that do happen before the game starts are because of someone trying to put an obs ward down and they happen to run into their team so the reason people use wards in the early game to prevent jungling farming is because like i said you don't really have the ability to go all the way out of your way to actually stop from farming. And then later on into the game, people don't really block camps as much just because, like, rather than just block the camp, it's much better if you just kill the guy when he goes to farm it rather than just prevent him from farming it, period. Because it's much better to let the guy farm the camp and then kill him than just not have him farm it at all. That's pretty much, like, how to stop people from farming. Like I said, the primary way of stopping people from farming is map control. 
the primary way through gaining map control is vision and then by using that vision it lets you kill people so this is why people build a lot of blink daggers in dota is because it lets you just like instantly jump on somebody out of the blue like if they're farming a camp you can just blink on them and that kind of mobility is extremely important in gaining map control is because if you have map control you have to be able to use it and to use it you have to be able to a kill them when they leave their map control and b farm by using that map control so blink dagger lets you do both of these it lets you get to camps faster it lets you get to creeps faster and it also lets you kill the enemy if they ever leave their part of the area that they have map control because of the fact that you can just instantly position yourself on top of them or next to them or whatever your hero needs to do So that's pretty much all for this video. If you have any questions, comments, criticism, if you think I'm sexual, thank you for watching.